Don't you hate it when a franchise ends on a cliffhanger? Cause I do. After investing ourselves in the story and its characters, 365 Days ended on a confusing note. Apparently, this was all part of the plan because rumor has it that 365 Days 4 is in development. From mind-blowing theories the actors you never thought you would see in the franchise again, coming back to reprise their infamous roles, and even different protagonists leading the franchise, here is why the next film will blow your mind. You've already lost your way once. Okay, first of all, I would like to address the criticism surrounding this franchise. A lot of viewers said that 365 Days is a low-quality franchise that deserves to be cancelled. I hear you. I do. But these films must exist for viewers that want to watch a film that won't necessarily blow their brains. We never expected 365 Days to have the same quality as Godfather, and we love the film for the same reason. It serves great for a good Netflix and chill night, don't you think so? I do have one issue with the film though, there were too many songs in the second installment. Although I loved every song in it, I just didn't understand the need for so many tunes. I guess you already watched the last part of the trilogy and I know what you're thinking. Is this it? How are we supposed to live without knowing who Laura chose? I mean, the whole point of the franchise was whether Laura will end up with the mafia boss. Then Nacho happened and she was happy with him, but we still don't know whether she chose him or Massimo. But no, the creators decided to screw with us and ended this franchise on a cliffhanger. I'm one step away from asking you for divorce. Divorce. And so, a lot of Netflix users expressed their disappointment regarding the conclusion of the popular trilogy. Previously, we had different theories about Laura's future, but we honestly never expected to see such a cliffhanger at the very end. This only brings us to whether we'll actually see another continuation. Netflix is yet to greenlight 365 Days 4, but since the next 365 Days has proven to be even more successful than its predecessors, another movie seems guaranteed and it's just a matter of time until Netflix confirms the next follow-up that will hopefully address all of our questions. In its first days of streaming, the third installment had 39.31 million hours viewed on Netflix, with fans all over the world getting angry about that cliffhanger. As you already know, the franchise is based on the books by Blanka Lipinska, so is there any source material left? Well, not yet. Blanka is yet to write the fourth book, but since the third installment didn't stay loyal to the source material, we might as well see a continuation that won't follow events from a novel. As for a potential release date, well, we have no idea when this continuation could be released. The second and third movies were filmed back to back, which is why they were released so soon. April 2022 and August 2022. What did you not understand when I told you not to push me? There were two years between 365 Days and its sequel 365 Days this day, so if the next film gets a green light soon, we might see it sometime in the beginning of 2024 or at the end of 2023 at the earliest. According to some rumors, the film is already in development and is being filmed secretly. These rumors also suggest that we'll see some interesting faces in 365 Days 4. Another installment without Anna Maria Cicluca and Michelle Marone as Laura and Massimo, respectively, would make no sense. So if a fourth movie is happening, as rumor has it, they'd most certainly come back to reprise their roles. After all, this franchise practically launched their careers. Simone Susina's Nacho played a big role in the third installment, so fans expect to see him as well. Magdalena Lemparska is also expected to return as Laura's BFF, Olga, along with Otar Saralidzi as her fiancé and Massimo's right-hand man, Domenico. Now, there are some rumors suggesting that the next film will be about Olga and Domenico, but some fans think this would be wrong simply because Laura and Massimo's story isn't done yet. How do you guys feel about this? According to Netflix, you need to smash that like button if you want to see 364 Days 4. So make sure you do it. The most important question is, what could 365 Days 4's story be? If you really love something, just let As previously mentioned, the third film of the franchise had nothing to do with the third book in the book series. This means that Netflix could easily continue the story going on in any direction they want. They have no source material to follow, so they have complete freedom regarding the story. In the book, Laura ends up with Nacho after a messed up breakup with Massimo, who turns into a real jerk and, well, sends Laura a package with her dead dog inside. However, in the next 365 days, we have a less intense version in which it looks like Laura ends up with Massimo, at least according to most fans. Maybe, just maybe, the fourth installment could follow the source material from the third book as brutal as it is. What do you guys think? 
The only thing important for now is that Marone wants another film. You wore it. For sure. Shortly after the release of the third film, the next 365 days, Michelle Marone used his Instagram account to address the possibility of viewers seeing yet another follow up, and most importantly, he is quite interested in reprising his role one more time. The end of something is always a little bit sad, but who knows? Marone commented on a post that featured a couple of images of Massimo. We have more good news in store. Michelle Marone is not the only person that would love to make 365 Days 4. The author behind the books that the franchise is based on has also shown interest in being involved in the making of another film. Author Blanka Lipinska does not only want to see another film, but has some ideas about the direction this film would go. The author revealed to Today that she is planning to write another book, but this time the story will be told from Massimo's point of view. This is the story from the beginning, but this time from the perspective of Massimo, she said. Does this sound familiar? Well, it's because the author of Fifty Shades of Grey, E.L. James, also wrote a book from the male lead's perspective, which basically tells the same story but from a Christian Grey's perspective. But Netflix doesn't have to wait for the fourth book to be released as they could simply continue the story without source material. Given the popularity and success of the films, it would be unfortunate if Netflix decides not to greenlight another film. Laura tells Massimo he had a wonderful father and says that he will be too one day. Massimo asks, are you back, baby girl? This is how the film ends and Laura telling Massimo he would be a wonderful father is perhaps a tease for the plot of the fourth installment, don't you think so? But does Laura end up with Massimo? Maybe she changes her mind and goes back to Nacho after all. We'll never know unless there's another follow-up. For now, viewers decide who Laura ends up with. Who do you guys think he chose? Another continuation could also give more scenes with Olga and Domenico, whose relationship wasn't really great in the third film. A wedding between them would be a fun thing to see in 365 Days 4. Although we don't know whether Anna Maria Sikluka is interested in another film, we do know that if Michelle Marone returns, she will return well. The two played Laura and Massimo respectively, and a film without the lead couple won't make sense at all. We also know that you need to smash that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. Now seriously, do you think Nacho should return in the next film? Do you perhaps think a film that will focus on Laura and Massimo's marriage would make for a better story? A story without Nacho? Let us know. See you in the next video.